What's up guys, JB2017 here, and today I'm going to share some basic vault building tips to help you get started in the new Vault Tech Workshop DLC pack. I didn't plan on making a video like this, but I've had a ton of questions already from my video yesterday from people having trouble getting things to snap together, working with the new power system, and building atrium. So this is the three things we're gonna focus on in this video. So I hope this simple guide can help with a lot of those issues. So starting off, we're gonna talk about snapping rooms and a pretty good rule of thumb, I believe this was shared on a Fallout Twitter from somebody on uh, the subreddit, is to start out from here when you're building your vault. So for example, Let's go ahead and place some vault pieces just to show you what I'm talking about where I've told Kate to just stay right there. So if you want to start building in this main area, you don't have to necessarily start from that place, but it's a good idea to go ahead and branch out with some of these pieces and then get rid of them just like that. And just make sure you keep that base right there because that makes sure you keep everything symmetrical. If you're really nitpicky like me and OCD like that, that's a really good simple tip. Also, a lot of people were saying it was very dark in the last video. So I decided to make my own makeshift kind of, you know, light thing up there just to make sure that things are a little bit brighter. I also might have bumped up the brightness in this video just to help you guys out. But anyways, that's how you keep everything aligned. But in terms of snapping rooms together, let's talk about that because a lot of people were complaining, you know, hey, I can't get these different rooms to snap together. What is the problem? And so I think one of the big issues is that people are ignoring the doorways and how doorways work. So in this, you actually have to place separate doorways. It's not like, you know, just placing down, or I guess it is similar to placing down kind of a, a wall that already has a door kind of cut into it. And then you have to place the door. It's very similar in that respect. So let's go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. And so you have all these different pieces, right? Some of them have doorways, but there is one specific piece. Let me see one specific piece that really helps with everything. And that's the doorway end cap. You'll find one of these in domestic one in utility and also one in the atrium. And any of these will work in any of those rooms. So you always, whenever you need to make a doorway, you always need to put one of these in unless you're using a prefab with a built-in doorway like this. So I could put this in and that would also work. But if you're just trying to snap like hallways together and different rooms together, you need to have this doorway end cap. It's absolutely necessary or else, you know, you'll run into issues. And so, for example, I just put that on there and then I go over to doors under the vault category. And of course, I can put my door in there just like that. Or here, let me just show you guys, for example, I'll go ahead and scrap that and then put on a room like a different, let's say a clinic room. So I'm going to use this clinic wall that has a doorway built in. As you can tell, that snaps on just like that. So as you can tell, having that, you know, in between doorway cap piece is just, you have to have it in order for things to work properly or else it just won't work. So let's go and snap the door in place, hop out of workshop mode and you know, it works just like that. So just keep that in mind when you're working with doorways and trying to get rooms to snap together. Um, I also thought just from reading, I was thinking maybe people were having issues with uh, different kinds of room themes snapping together. And that doesn't seem to be the case. You know, I can go through here and put each of the different types in here and things snap together. So I think the main issue was the doorways. And I hope that helps a lot of you kind of wondering about that. So moving on, let's talk about power. And I think uh, the reason people are having trouble with power is it's, it's a little different than how power was working before. So let's go and place one of these giant new generators that are introduced in this DLC, the vault tech reactor for example. So I'm going to place that down. That gives us 150 power. So that's really a ton of power, um, but it kind of travels differently and it travels through the floor. Initially, it has to, because as you can tell, this is how the reactor is. It's, it's placed on the floor. And so the power is, I guess you could call it connected. That's kind of the term that I'm going to use. But as long as it's connected as whatever you're trying to connect is connected via the floor or walls to this generator in some way, it's going to power it over a very long distance. So let me just show you guys exactly what I'm talking about here by going back to structures, back to vault, and then we'll go into the atrium tab. That's not the atrium tab here. Okay. So let's go and grab some atrium floors because they look kind of similar. So all I'm doing here is extending this floor over and then I'm going to place a wall down. And then let's say I want to put a light on this wall right here. So let's go over to power lights and put one of the new vault lights on here. If I can get over there. There we go. All right. So if I just put these lights here, it's not going to work. I mean, it is connected through the floor. It's because you're missing one piece, one little piece on our connectors and switches. And it's the power conduit that's specially made for these reactors. And that's something I didn't exactly explain as best I could, but 
all I have to do is put that on there and that works just like that. And so that's kind of the little trick there. And this extends extremely far. So just to show you guys exactly how far this extends, I'm going to put uh, some more of these flooring pieces down in the atrium. And I'm going to go all the way to the tunnel tunnels over here. Just to show you guys exactly how far this power extends, because it really does. Like, it's not an issue of distance, really, at this point. It's an issue of, you know, just making sure things are connected. So we're going to do the exact same setup here. Going to go back to power. Put one of these handy-dandy vault power conduits up here. And then if I place a light, it'll be lit up. That is, I mean, it's really far if you think about that. I mean, you could have a whole vault working system going through here, and this is just, you know, these lights just require a power connection. They don't require a certain amount of power. So you just need to be connected, and that's how this connected power works. And so you can also connect smaller generators to these little conduits if you wanted to, but honestly, I don't know why you would. That's only if you legitimately ran out of power and you want to connect more power to the grid. You can do it that way, but... Very simply, that's you know how far this stuff extends. You just have to make sure that they're connected via the floor or some kind of wall. I could, you know, for example, connect walls all the way over, and they would absolutely connect together. And so this is how you know the connected power works in this DLC. So finally, let's talk about atriums. I'm going to make a little bit of room here because atriums take up a lot of space. Actually, I think I should be good. Eh, let's go ahead and just just in case, let's make a little bit of room. I had to leave myself some room up here, as you, as you guys tell. This actually extended all the way over, but uh, when I was planning for this video, I had to get rid of that because atriums are so big. So I think the problem with atriums are people are wondering, like, hey, how does this stuff fit together? It's kind of awkward. It's huge. It's massive. Like, how am I supposed to fit this stuff together? So let's go ahead and place some atrium um, prefabs down just to show you guys exactly how this stuff is, you know, intended to fit together. I mean, you can do your own kind of style and whatnot, but this is how things are supposed to go. So I'm going to put an end right there, and then I'm going to go over and place some middle pieces. So the atrium ceiling is the middle piece that you're probably uh, wondering, you know, why do I need this? This is if you're trying to extend your atrium further out. And so this is kind of the general setup of what an atrium is supposed to look like. Let's see if I can fit that in there. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, let's get rid of that piece and put this prefab end on here. So the end cap, trying to get it to fit in there. There we go. Okay, and so this is one half of your atrium right here. There's no like middle ceiling piece. I think that's what's throwing people off. They're wondering like, hey, how am I supposed to extend this further? This right here is pretty much the extent of your atrium. So let me go ahead and uh, fill in these ceiling pieces just like we did on the other side. As you can tell, these fit together. So basically you just wanna flip the pieces around and then connect them as I'm doing right here. And that's pretty much the extent, oh, that wasn't the right piece, but that's the extent of the atrium. And so, as you can tell, I can extend this atrium further this way if I had more room, and that's how big the atrium can be. But in terms of width like this, this is pretty much what you get out of your atrium. So for example, if I fly up here and try to like put some connecting roof piece, it's just not going to work. That's just not how you know these atriums work. So let me just go ahead and stop floating here and show you guys, you know, that's just not how it's going to work. I have to, you know, kind of conform to this general shape of how the atrium is supposed to be in order to get what I want. But again, I can make it, you know, longer. I can make it longer the other way, and that's, you know, that's cool, right? And so also, something to keep in mind is you can keep this open like that, and then you could go on the other side and connect another ceiling, just like that. And so you could make this thing like a, a really fairly large, big open area um, on the bottom part, you know, I don't have to use this prefab end cap right here I can use you know this piece like I did right here and have it keep extending this way and kind of have it going up and down and up and down You can make a really large open space But this is the general shape of how the atrium is intended um, to be so I just wanted to share a few of these things I saw these comments on my videos and I'm thinking yeah, these are some issues. They're not exactly well explained I didn't really cover them in my new items video But I just want to share and I hope it was helpful for some of you guys Also, I saw some issues with new items not appearing for some people like for example their structures tab was not there or something or like vault wasn't here and the best advice I can give you for that is to delete all of your workshop related mods and then install them one by one until you find the culprit you know find the one that's causing the one issue and you know that should hopefully be resolved in a few days hopefully you know hopefully mod creators are working to make sure that things work together um, if not that's kind of you know whatever depends on the individual mod but 
once again i hope this is helpful for some of you that were running into issues with this dlc i know that's frustrating to get something and you know have things not working you know some people are saying they just quit because they couldn't get things to work so i hope once again this was helpful for you and today i shared some simple building tips for vault tech workshops dlc pack in fallout 4 next time we'll cover more fallout on my channel so stay tuned for fallout 4 tips and tricks videos if you learned something new or enjoyed this video please remember to hit that like button i would really appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe for more dlc coverage my survival mode live stream which actually won't be happy today i will be doing a vault building stream shortly after this video is uploaded so hope you guys will join me here on the channel once again shortly after this video is uploaded talk to you guys next time peace